Hello, welcome to clicking to this video of us climbing Ben Allegan and hopefully the three horns. Good day for it. Um, this is a Ben Buddha uh, outing for September 22. Uh, we're hoping to do the two tops and uh, the three horns. No excuse for it, the weather is absolutely glorious as you can see. Um, we're just uh, when you cut last night, we the group, there's eight of us this time, we travelled up. Uh, to Inverness, some by train, some by car and we travelled up last night um, and stayed at the Inverness Fuse Hostel really good facilities, reasonable some of the rooms are done sweet and not too far from the town where we went and had uh, a bite to eat in a Thai restaurant which was nice no, it was okay um, so yeah, and then we just travelled a couple of hours stopping at a place called the Midgey Bite uh, in Achnasheen for a bite to eat, really nice, also recommended and we're just slowly making our way up, so for Ben Allegan, as you'll know, we park, we, uh, you, you park the car, uh, quite bad for midges, uh, in this, today's weather, at the car park uh, at the waterfall, just as you go over the bridge, as you come through Torridon, um, past the youth hostel. <laughs> we didn't stay at that hostel last night, that was full. So yeah, so we, we, you park there, and then you go to the path to the left-hand side of the waterfall, and travel up to the deer fence. And then right now we're just working our way up towards the quarry to get up towards the, f the first stop. So again, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It encourages me to do more, even though I'm only filming it with my phone and whatnot. But yeah, uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll get some, we should definitely get some cracking views today. So we're going to have a winner. Um, so let's uh, keep going in. Torridonian sandstone, which is some of the oldest rock on the planet, and it's got quite a feel about it. It's just very different from anywhere else in Scotland, or yeah, it certainly felt certainly felt very Jurassic Park sort of thing. It's like something out of Lord of the Rings or something. How old do you think that is then? Probably you say the oldest in the planet? Some of it. There's, there's like Lewis here and Nice. Ah, uh, so. And then Polydonian Sandstone comes over. Sorry about that. We soon reached the Bielach towards the first summit and we were greeted with views over the other side. Again, blessed with fantastic weather. Well, not quite, but just the first Monroe. You can see the continuation along the ridge there to the, the big main Monroe of Ben Allegan. It's a cracking day for it because you don't often get it like this in the west coast of Scotland, but couldn't get better. Um, you can see everything, no cloud on any of the hills 
all the torrid and hills there, Leardac and Benny, across the Sleoc and Anchelac over there. And yeah, all of the, the coast, all the sky, and uh, the Outer Hebrides over there. And there's Lewis and Harris, I think, over there. And the wee town of Gearloch in the distance, and all the lochs of Torridon and everything over there too. So absolutely superb views today. What's this sky? And that's the Coolins over there, the sky, yeah. So, there's where we're going. And there's the horns. They look really impressive for you. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're heading. Oh, it makes me excited and petrified at the same time. Should sure it be different when we're there? But it takes your breath away. Millions of years old. Good example of a uh, Torridonian sandstone, where it's all folded over like pillows now. Looks a wee bit like Jabba the Hutt. This is the Ikhtu, Black Cleft. Having reached the second row of Square Moor, we looked down to the horns of Allegan and wondered what was ahead of us. So he did, let's hope it's the right decision to go ahead and get these horns out of the way. It's not going to be a better day weather-wise to do it, so I'm going to go for it. Good scramble up. Wee bit of a scramble. Wee bit challenging, I have to be honest. Wee bit of a narrow ridge here as well, but it's fine. Yeah, there'll not be much filming here. The views are just amazing, even better than the top of the Munro, I think.
start gewoon. Nee, de start wordt meteen op en over. Hij is een soort van een stiek pull-ups. Zo, dat is ook zei, ik denk dat het een speciale deling te doen. Het is niet te bad, eigenlijk. Het is quicker just to take that safer. Rather than going over the top. Oh, but yeah, it's manageable. But we take a bit of pull-ups. Doing arrow here, it looks scarier probably the camera, but again, I do like to do it. It's uh, <laughs> perfect. And everybody did it, which is great. So, we did the uh, three horns, we're on the way down and just like the guidebook says, about 600. I bet it's coming to 600, you start to, you have to go down a right wee tricky bit. You can see what they're doing there. But if you take the time, uh, you get down, you can see. Go down there and then that there. It's a river. Day. Probably one of my favourite since uh, we've been doing the Bend Buddha, a walking group. Uh, it's got a special, pl special place in my heart, this place, and um, I, I'll be feasting on this trip and views I've had, which I hope this, I mean I've only been recording on my phone, I hope they do a wee bit of justice, but if not, it gives us a wee bit of a memory to look back on the group, so I hope you enjoy it anyway, if you did, as I say. Like and subscribe. Uh, so it was nice to get a wee bit of encouragement. I know my videos aren't the best in the world, but uh, I try to capture what I can. So anyway, I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to be adding. We've got a, a wee Aurora Borealis app on alert. To, there has been a couple of Amber alerts over the past week, so well, it'd be great if I could record that. But we'll see. Um, but. If not, we'll have a nice night in Apple Cross. Thank you for watching. We decided to take the Black Naba Road to Apple Cross and we were rewarded with a beautiful sunset over the Isle of Skye. A perfect way to end such a perfect day with great friends on the hills. All that was left was to eat the lasagna we'd bought in Inverness the night before and to have a couple of drinks. <laughs>